Okay, we're back again, actually running uh, the same pound dollar 30 minute chart from the last video. We'll go ahead and, and, and play the market and kind of let it rule a little bit, speed it up. Uh, you know, not too much though, and we'll actually start placing some orders. So I think the market's going to continue down from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click the button that says place new order. It'll pop open this new order window. I went ahead and paused the market because my eye actually caught this. So I want to try to capitalize on this downward move here. So, you know, that's the trader in me, I guess. So um, in the new order window, you'll actually see volume up here at the top. And um, notice the similarities. I'm going to open a new order window in MetaTrader. Uh, this is for placing an actual market order. Notice the similarities between this window and the new order window. We've actually got symbol, which you cannot change because we're testing on the pound dollar. You've got volume, works the exact same way that it does in MetaTrader. You can go down to 0 0.01 based on your broker, or all the way up to however much money you have in your account. You know, one being one standard lot. So we're going to leave it on 0 0.1 currently. Stop loss and take profit. Uh, in MetaTrader, you have to fill those in yourself. It's the same over here. You would have to fill the stop loss and take profit. But uh, I've added this nice little feature to where if you know that you use a certain amount of pips, let's say 40 for your stop loss and 40 for your take profit, you can just type in 40 and it'll gray out the stop loss and take profit boxes. So whenever you place your order, it'll actually just have 40 pips. So you don't really have to do all the calculation or the math involved in that. Comment can be absolutely anything you want it to be. Notice it's actually in MetaTrader 4's window as well. Um, this comment field isn't really incredibly useful in the fact that it doesn't really show up in uh, the reports that you run after you're done. Uh, but while you're testing, you should be able to actually see the comments um, inside of the results tab. Uh, so... Um, and if that is the case, I know some versions of MetaTrader actually have that. If that's the case, then you can actually, you know, put your own little um, put your own little notes here. It doesn't really matter what you put there. Order type, you can actually do just like in MetaTrader. You can go from instant execution to pending order, and it changes this information down here. Same thing here. You can either do an instant execution, you can buy or sell right now, or you can go into pending order and actually tell it what type and at what price to, to put your order on. We're going to do an instant execution order right now. You'll notice something that uh, Simple Forex Tester has that MetaTrader does not is uh, extra options, which is the trailing stop and the break even. The trailing stop is a one for one trailing stop. It does it for you automatically, so you don't have to change anything after your order is put on. And by putting 25 here, for example, uh, the stop loss will always be. 25 pips behind the highest point we reached in that order. And what that means is that it simply moves your stop for you, just like a ratchet, to try to lock in some profit. Uh, I included this because it's always great, especially in manual trading, to, to play with options like this because it usually makes uh, the system that you're trading a little bit better, or at least gives you a different way to look at the system you're trading. Putting it at zero actually says no trailing stop, so I'll leave it at zero break even will move your stop whenever you're X amount of pips into profit. So this means that, you know, I have a 40 pip stop loss and take profit, but at 20 pips profit, whenever I'm up 20 pips, I want my stop loss to move to my entry price automatically. And this means that if the market were to reverse on me, it would take me out at my entry price and the order would actually cost me no money. There would, it would be impossible for me to lose money on that order. So you can have that automatically do it for you as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at zero right now. So I'm going to close the order window in MetaTrader because we're done with our comparison here. We're actually ready to place our order. So I think we're going to sell, or I think the market's going to go down. So I'm going to, I'm going to click the sell button. And it'll say, uh, order number one, sell successful. So you click OK. You move this window a little bit, you'll notice that it actually shows up in the open orders pane inside of Simple FX Tester. And whenever you play the market, you'll see it actually shows up, um, shows up as an order, even on the results tab, shows up as an order, um, just like it was placed by an expert advisor, just like you placed it normally while you were trading, uh, trading the markets live. 
So I remember playback controls in every window, so I can click play at this point in time and fast forward the market because I don't want to sit here and wait on my order to exit. We'll see how far, uh, how good my order does. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause the market and use this opportunity to modify this order. You'll see since I've paused, it actually shows you the amount of profit in your order. Each time you play and pause, it'll actually update. You see that? So what I'm going to do is let's say I'm $14 into profit. I want to go ahead and move my stop loss to break even. So I want to modify this order. Well, how we do that is we simply click on the order that we would like to modify. Click the modify button and this window comes up actually showing us all of the information about the order and lets us change any part of it. So instead of coming over to stop loss and changing it to my entry price, you know, having to look and copy it exactly, if I wanted to move the break even, I've added this cool little feature. All you do is click the break even button and it'll actually move your stop loss to break even for you immediately. We'll actually confirm that here in a minute and I'll show you what happens. You can actually modify your take profit as well. You can set it to, uh, you know, a higher number or a lower number, whatever you'd like. Uh, you cannot modify your comment after the order has been placed. Extra options, you can modify these. You can actually add a trailing stop or a break even at this point simply by typing in the number you'd wish. And uh, up here at the top, remember that we can actually play or pause the market and even move it faster or slower. So now that I've actually moved my order to break even, I want to go ahead and click modify order. It's just like sending the order to MetaTrader. So click modify. It says order one successfully modified. So now whenever I play the market, you'll see my stop loss. You see the red, the stop loss has actually been moved. Modify has been moved to my entry point. So we'll play this through and see how it goes. All right, we've been stopped out. You'll notice it shows up here. And it also, if I were to close my modify order window, it also shows up in the closed orders tab. Now, in order to close an order, I'm going to go ahead and place a new one just real quick to show you. I'll uh, place a sell order. And it says successfully placed. We'll play the market and see it has been. If I were to just want to close this order right now, simply click on the order and click the close button. So whenever the market's playing, then you'll see that the order has been closed. On the next video, we're going to walk through how to finish up our test, how to export, uh, how to export the report so we can see how we did, and save the report and compare them to one another, as well as any other uh, advanced techniques that Simple Forex Pro offers.